Welcome back everyone and today we're just going to do on a little utility tip, uh, it's something that I use pretty much several times a week. Um, it's a file sync program for backing up and I think it's one of the best, I've tried several. Um, it's not the prettiest, but hey ho, it works, it works really well, thought you should know about it, let's have a look. So this is it, it's from file, uh, freefilesync.org. Um, it's a nice little utility, it is free, you can have a free version, you can pay and give a donation. I did do that to be fair and it gave me a license for I think up to three copies for a year's worth of no ads, which it doesn't really have anyway to be fair, and a few extra features. Is it worth getting those extras? Not necessarily. Did I think it was fair and right to do? Yes, but that was my choice, it doesn't have to be yours. But the beauty of this is that I was able to try it, make sure I fully liked it, and it works. It works really well. It's available for Mac and PC, uh, and I do use it on both, in all fairness. We've got it on the server at work as well. Um, and here we go. Just download it, and let's jump straight into that app. So this is the app, and this is where I say it's not the prettiest, but actually it works really well. We can drag and drop a folder to be the main one. You can drag and drop where you want to back it up to um, or compare against. And we've got saved, but it's saved sessions down the side, which is great. So I can compare and this is YT Motion templates four days ago. If I just click compare, it's just going to go and see what is different and tell me what is different between these two. It doesn't care about any other settings. It's just telling me, is this accurate or not? And actually, it's telling me down here that we've got 11,757 we've got 11,757 files which are equal. They're perfect. There's nothing wrong with those. If I made a change, so let's go make a change. New finder window. Let's go to movies, motion templates. And I'm just going to create a new folder into there. Leave it untitled. If I now go back, just close that down. If I now go back in and compare, it's telling me we've got one change needs to go across. We've got synchronization method. I've got this to mirror. Okay, so it's going to copy whatever is on this left hand side across to the right hand side. If I click this little cog, I can choose whether it's two way back and forth. If I use this to keep my work computer in sync and this in sync, then I could do that, for instance. Um, I have used two-way sync on my, I've got a like, YouTube exports I'm working, which I've got a backup drive. I've used it on that because I have in the past had my backup drive connected and I've copied across my new files to that and I've overwrote when I've done the copy back. So now this just stops that and makes sure that I don't do stupid mistakes. Um, so yeah, you've got two-way, you've got mirror, you've got update. It's just going to literally update the files across onto there. Um, you can make custom, do whatever you want. We've got deleted files. We can either recycle bin, permanent, or versioning. I don't use versioning because I don't need to for what I've got. But what that enables me to do is to do backups and it stores a version of the previous one it's deleted in a directory. So you need a bit more space, but it gives you flexibility. If you're doing websites, for instance, and you were creating them on your local machine, it's great for that. Versioning is superb for things where you've got text documents, scripts, and you just want to keep several versions that you keep editing, superb. Um, not really something I need. Send email notification and stuff to do on completion. I think the send email notification is only on the donation version. Filter, it automatically on the Mac excludes certain things like the trash, the store, etc. The other thing that you can do is you can exclude certain files. So I exclude the drive icon files because my backups have got a nice little yellow border. I know it's the backup drive to stop me making silly mistakes again, and I can exclude that so it doesn't overwrite it. The one thing I chose this for, especially for a Mac, is packages. 
this sees packages. So if I've got a final cut project, it's just one file, but I've got thousands of files in that project. And what this actually does, it goes into that package and look at the individual files. It's not copying the whole thing over, which my last file sync program was. And it's just, when you're copying 130 gig every time, that's a lot to keep copying. I just want to copy the one gig file that I put into it and copy that across. And that works really, really well. Um, so that's why I did that. I have these saved into my iCloud, so it syncs with the work one. So when I'm there, I can transfer back as well. Um, and that's it. So if I did that now on motion templates and just did synchronize, it's gonna tell me it's gonna copy one item across, click start, done. Nice little doorbell sound as well when it's done. Simple as that. And if I now go and we have a little look, Let's go down to here and we've got backup motion. We've now got untitled folder in there as well. And let's go back into that motion now. And let's delete that folder, move to bin. Let's go back over here, we're gonna compare. It's gonna tell me I've got one minus to get rid of. And then let's Drag that across so we can see that. Mirror that, it says we're gonna delete one, click start, done. So there we go. I hope that was just a nice little utility for you to look at. If you're looking at doing simple backups, you don't wanna have anything complicated, this works really, really well. Um, it stops you making stupid mistakes and missing stuff as well. Um, well worth it, works on all platforms, which is fantastic, it's amazing. It is free, it's regularly supported, regular updates onto it. Yeah, it could look prettier and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, I'd rather support people that actually make stuff that works brilliantly. There you go, that's the tip for today. Hope you enjoyed it, see you on the next one. Yeah.